Hello friends, this is Durga from ITVST. We are in the process of renovating our uh, big data labs and also the website. As part of the renovation process, we have redesigned our website and also we have upgraded the labs to Spark3 as well as the latest version of Kafka and also we have upgraded some of the other services as well. Also we have set up the cluster using open source rather than Hortonworks as Hortonworks is acquired by Cloudera. That being said, let me walk you through about how to sign up using new website and then how to purchase the product, then how to connect to the lab and start practicing. To sign up, you have to go to our homepage, which is nothing but labs.itwash.com, and you have to click on one of these links. If you are a new user, whether you click on sign up or login, it will actually take you to the same page. Here, either you can sign up using your first name, last name, email, and password, or you can directly log in Gmail. Either of the approaches will work. You might get the confirmation email. You have to complete the confirmation process. Then you should be able to log in. Let me log in uh, using uh, Gmail here. I'll be using this email ID. Let me click on this. Let me click on next. Let me enter the password. Let me click on next. Then I'm in. Once you are logged in, you will be redirected to home page at this time. Uh, we'll be changing this functionality to redirecting to all products. You can see the products here. There are two products at this time. They are nothing but CCA 175 with Python. And the one is CCA 175 with Scala. Let me sign up using CCA 175 with Python. Uh, let me click on enroll here. I am enrolling using monthly plan. You can actually click on pay now. It will uh, take you to this button. If you are signing up from US or any other uh, country than India, you can actually complete the payment using PayPal. If you are signing up from India, it might show you the option related to Stripe or rather pay, whatever we have decided to go with Indian payments. Now you can click on PayPal here or whatever button you see, it will take you to this page. You don't need to log into your PayPal uh, unless you want to complete the payment using PayPal. If you want to use your credit card uh, or if you do not have account with PayPal, just click on checkout as guest. You need to enter the email ID here. Whatever email ID you have used to sign up, it is better to use that email itself. However, this is uh, for the internal uh, usage of PayPal. You don't need to uh, use the same email ID using which you have signed up to our website. Now you can say continue to payment. It will take you to this page. You can enter your credit card information and you should be able to complete the payment. Let me complete the payment and then take it further. Once you enter your credit card information, you can hit continue. If you select this, it will save your payment info and it will create a PayPal account. If you don't want to create PayPal account, don't select this. In case if you want to create PayPal account, if you are going to use PayPal continuously, you can choose this. For now, I will recommend to ignore it. Now you can click on continue. It will take care of the payment for you. Now you can see the payment details, uh, it is approved. Once you uh, get the approved payment, you can actually review the payment details under user details. And then you can actually go to lab details. At this time, uh, you have purchased the product, but you haven't uh, activated the lab. To activate the lab, you have to click on this uh, button and then you can say OK. Now it will activate the product for you. What it will do, it will actually create an account and password uh, as part of the labs using which you should be able to connect going forward. You will get all that information once the sign up process uh, is complete with respect to the lab. So earlier you have signed up to our website, now you have signed up to our labs. Once you have activated for each and every product, you will be getting details such as username, password and also gateway node. Username and password are part of these buttons. When it comes to gateway node, you have to click on this it will take you to the appropriate gateway. We have two gateway nodes in our multi-node big data cluster. You will be getting access to one of the gateway nodes. In my case, the account is created on g02.itwatch.com. In our case, the account might be created on some other node. When you actually come to the gateway node for the first time, you will be redirected to this login page. You have to pick the username from here, paste it. And also you can pick password from here, paste it, then say sign in you will be logged in into this Jupyter-based environment where you have all these kernels. You can actually start learning Spark and other key technologies with respect to data engineering using this environment. You can click on this product and you can see the content here. There is CCA 175 with Python. You have Spark SQL, Spark Python. As of now, we have provided even Spark Scala. In future, when you sign up for CCA 175 using Python, uh, we will be uh, discarding Spark Scala. Now, to practice, you have to get into these folders and you can start practicing. I'll be demonstrating as part of the subsequent topics. So far, we, you have understood how to sign up for our labs, then how to purchase the product, activate the product so that you get access to the labs. Now, it is time for us to understand how to use it so that we can learn key technologies related to data engineering.